Japan Journal, the Internet's number one English language weekly online cybercast from Japan. Japan Journal with Mal Adams. Good day, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Japan Journal, the Internet's number one English language online cybercast from Japan. I'm your host, Mal Adams, and today I'm coming to you from a spirituality standpoint. The message is a little bit different today because I want to talk about uh, spirituality, religion, Christianity, Islam, and I as a Buddhist am also a Christian, born and raised in the Christian tradition, baptized in the Christian church. So I love all religions and doctrines that speak of the life force, the creator of life, God by whatever name, Jesus, Jehovah, Allah. And I want to just make a comment about the church and the preachers, you know, who have to maintain uh, maintain that independence. You can't be in the hip pocket of politicians today. You got to be independent. You got to be able to criticize the president if he's wrong. The preacher's got to be clear, and he can't have his hands tied. And that's why the world has gone to hell, and Satan is in power, not only in the world, but he's crept into the house of God unawares, bringing in strange doctrines and teaching. So, we want to discuss all these things today and I want to share with you what's on my heart as a spiritual person and someone who's responsible for a flock, mainly my family, but also several subscribers to the philosophy of the teachings and the understandings of the big picture of creativity in this life force that I have acquired this understanding uh, for almost nearly 40 years dealing with Japan and these Asian thoughts. And so the prayers that we give and our prayers that we share have to be made more sincere. And I'm speaking mainly now to you Christian ministers in the United States. When the baby came from its mother's womb into a new environment, its first prayer was its cry. And that cry was not duplicitous. It wasn't insincere. It was frightened in a new environment and it cried. That prayer, which is a cry, is universal. And that cry grows as the mind of the child grows into supplication. The child knows God through the mother. Mommy, I'm wet. Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I need. God is acting through you, mother. The prayer of the child is answered by you. Father goes out and works hard, hopefully. And if father don't have a job, father can't walk around aimlessly on the corner because we got responsibilities but we've lost creativity so we don't know how to create a job for ourselves and we who sp preach spirituality and in the ministry are not showing our men how to do for themselves <clears throat> but the father works brings the money so that mother can answer the prayers of the child but mother and father have another kind of prayer and supplication. They call out in the choir of their rooms to the Lord of creation to help them to provide for their family. God answers prayer 
this whole universe is like the breast of a female. Listen to me now. When the baby pulls on the breast of the mother, as long as mother is doing right by herself, something is there for the baby. <laughs> And as long as you are right with God, you can put on the universe and it will not withhold its blessings from you. So if you're poor, raggedy, and hungry, it's nobody's fault but your own. You better check out how you connect. <laughs> you don't hear me, do you? All right, so in conclusion, God does not care about your blood family. That's your family. But Christ came into the world to make a new family, a family greater than blood, a family united by spirit. That's why the church is so important. Every church is important. Not as a business, but every church that handles the word of God properly takes men and women and makes a new family. A better family than the family of the womb but this is a family that comes out of the womb of Christ's suffering, just at Easter. You know, his passion is what made us brothers. Man, that's something. Ain't that something? And if we, as his servants, not willing to suffer, we don't want no hurt in our lives. Let's play it safe. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the flow. <laughs> Y'all trying to get Mal Adams in the mainstream. I'm not trying to be in no stream. I'm doing my thing from Japan. I want to go over Jordan, the river. I don't need no stream. I'm trying to be mainstream. Japan Journal is an independent Cybercast. I'm not trying to be in the mainstream. That's where all the wickedness is. <laughs> Don't count me with your foolishness. I will never compromise a principle of truth for no friendship with the world. I'll go to God alone because I didn't come in the world with no twin. And even if I had a twin, we didn't come the same time. One came before the other. So if I could come in the world by myself with God delivering me, then I can walk this earth by myself with God. I don't need friendship if that friendship will take me to hell. You on Facebook are looking for friendships. Some of us don't want to be rebuked. We don't want to be scorned. We want to be praised by the wrong people. I'm not looking for praise. I would not mind accommodation from the mayor or the governor or the president. I wouldn't mind some commendation from a uh, uh, head of state. But if I've got to compromise my principles to get a key to your lousy city, <laughs> I would rather say that there's 12 gates to the city that I want to be a part of. You're not listening to me. You don't, un you don't understand. You better read your scriptures. So all of you pastors out there, all you ministers out there, let's go back home to our churches and let's create a family in Christ. Everywhere you look, you want to see him. 
you want to see him reflected in the men, reflected in the women, reflected in the children. And that's a church with the power to save. Then you want to go out in the world with that power like the master did go out in the highways and the byways tell the people in the church don't come alone stop by and grab somebody bring them to service with you on sunday morning i'm tired of seeing you telling me that's your seat i paid for this get up get up out of my seat i'm the mother of the church what if you the mother produce some babies Be glad to get up out your seat and give it to a new one coming in. Stand on the wall if you have to. And let the new one sit down and become exposed to the word. The mosque is full. So what? Every house of God should be full to running over. And when we meet each other in the street, we shouldn't be saying, oh, that's a Muslim, that's a Christian, that's a Baptist, that's a Buddhist, that Mount Adam's a Buddhist, oh, in Japan. We just need to see the spirit of the living God moving in his street. And when we meet each other, we know each other. How do you know me? Not from Facebook profile. <laughs> How do you know me? You know me by the spirit. I don't come before you with notes because I really don't need it. God has written the notes on the heart. And when a man is of God and from God and is baptized in the spirit of God, he, he just has to open his mouth. And that's why the master said, don't take no thought about what you're gonna say. Open up your mouth and I'll speak for you. And so my dear and beloved pastors out there and to my big brother, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, all of them who I love and admire. You know, I learned from all of you, you know, and uh, I watch these evangelists on TV. And you know, I love good preaching because it's good preaching that waters my soul. I'm listening for God and when all of you ministers speak, I'm listening for you to tell me something that would help me be a better servant. And so we need each other, family. Now here in Japan, I'm under great trial now because there are those who fear the truth. And they're so afraid of Brother Malcolm because I will not bow down. So they have a fiery furnace for me. <laughs> and I've been in it for a long time. But one like unto the Son of Man is in there with me. <laughs> Keeping the flames from burning me. Some of you worry about me. I think you ought to worry about yourself. I'm safe. You think they're going to do something to me, but I'm telling you, I'm safe. You know why I'm safe? Because my refuge is in him. And I've run to his bosom. And curled up in his bosom because I know they can't get me there. <laughs> I know they're after me, but they can't get me there. You see? So they're angry with me because I dared to criticize them for their evil deeds. I can't help it. I've been a journalist for over 40 years. 
committed to trying to be fair, objective, and telling the truth. You know? The Jews don't believe in Jesus. Hear me now. Hear me now. <laughs> I'm telling you why I'm here today. Speaking to you today. The Jews have not accepted him as Messiah, nor have they even accepted him as a prophet. Therefore, the New Testament doesn't even count with them. The Bible in the book of Revelation says, Those who say they are Jews and are not, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. I am a Jew, and you are a Jew. The true Jew, Paul said, is not by the circumcision of the male organ, but the true Jew is not the Jew outwardly, but the Jew inwardly by the circumcision of the heart. I'm a Jew because my heart has been circumcised. <laughs> I'm a Jew. I want to be chosen of God. I'm a Jew. So how can I be anti-Jew and a Jew at the same time? You know, I talk about these Zionists. If you listen to some of my reports, you'll know. They say Jesus was a Jew. Come on, talk to me now. But when Jesus met the Jews, he had a controversy with them. In the book of John, the eighth chapter, Jesus said to the Jews, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And the Jews said to Jesus, how come you say I shall be made free when we have never been in bondage to any man? Then the Jews said, we are Abraham's seed. And Jesus answered saying, well, if you're Abraham's seed, you will do the works of Abraham. They said, God is our father. And they said, Jesus, Jesus said, if God were your father, you would love me for I proceeded forth from God, but I know you. You are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you shall do. He was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. Jesus, the scripture said, was a Jew, but he was not that kind of Jew. He was a Jew to open up a new door that all could be chosen. That nobody could say, I'm the chosen by myself, but all could be chosen if you would just be circumcised of the heart. I'm going to end this episode of Japan Journal real soon now. And I want to close on this word of circumcision. The male organ is the instrument of life. And when the foreskin of the male organ is not circumcised it makes it difficult for it to be clean so cutting the foreskin away from the male organ allows it to be constantly constantly washed so that disease in the secret place will not multiply so that when that instrument enters where it was made to enter to produce life, disease doesn't come along with it. So it is with the heart. And this is why when you see pictures of the master, you sometimes see with his heart, his chest open and his heart exposed because he had no secrets 
The heart is the secret place where all the flocks of men are conceived. It is like the male organ. It is a secret part that only God knows the secrets of the heart. People of God can play God, can play righteous, but as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if the heart is not washed constantly, then the words spoken from a diseased heart will ill affect the people who hear the word of God. So when Paul said, the Jew is not the Jew outwardly, but the Jew inwardly by the circumcision of the heart, the word of Jesus Christ cuts away the foreskin. It opens up the man to confess his sins. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Come on in. And, and if the pastors out there would go in their secret place and talk to God and confess our thoughts, he already knows them, but we have to confess them openly and let him wash us. As Jesus said, wash and be clean. They just, he ain't just talking about washing your body. He's talking about wash the secret place where all the vanities and the lusts and the vain imaginations will start poisoning the world of God. So we preach for applause. We preach to see the old lady in the back who's, who wants Jesus jump up and down and run to the front and fall out. We preach for people to say how wonderful we are that we preached and left them in the same condition that we found them. But you see, when you preach right, you prick the consciousness. It may not be considered your best sermon because the church may get a little quiet. You see, because I'm touching something in you today that needed to be touched and I'm making you reflect on yourself and reflect on how when he comes how he's going to find you how he's going to find me how he's going to find us so preacher purify the heart and let the word of life come through the organ has to stand up and so must we stand up for Christ Stand up, stand up for Jesus. You know the song. <laughs> you soldiers of the cross. Well then stand up. Stand up. A soldier of the cross. Lord have mercy. Stand up. Even if the world doesn't like it, stand up. Don't preach no watered down gospel. Preach it straight. Call it like it is in the name of God and he will touch the people's hearts. Stand up, soldiers of the cross. <clears throat> I'm gonna meditate with you today. This shakuhachi is an ancient Japanese instrument made of bamboo. And it is devised to play the tones of meditation. So as you pray and as you meditate, let us open our minds and our hearts. You know, there's a cross for everyone. And there's a cross for me. So don't worry about the crown and grab your cross. The crown don't come before the cross. The crown comes after the cross. Grab your cross. Stop being a safe preacher. Preach like the master preacher. They'll rebuke you. They'll scorn you. They'll persecute you. They'll revile you. They'll say all manner of evil against you falsely. But rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. 
so did they the prophets that were before you so pray and give a proper praise and let's have some proper preaching and let's revive the house of God everywhere we go let's make the church alive again make it the center of our community help the men and the women to come back to family values and you can't have a family unless God is the head Christ is the head and father under Christ and woman under man then children mother and father but if the woman wants to be the boss and the father wants to be the mother <laughs> then we're in trouble <laughs> every woman will submit to a man who's got Christ as his head. So if you have Christ as the head, then be the head of your house. And woman conform. And let the children conform to righteous parents. Now we got a strong family with strong family values. God bless us all. God bless all of you for listening. Thank you for joining this YouTube channel and watching this Facebook page. And now, Meditate with me as I give you this rendition from my heart and the scripture. <clears throat> Japan Journal, the Internet's number one English language weekly online cybercast from Japan. Japan Journal with Mal Adams.